What's up guys and welcome to a brand new video. I'm Zimmy and today I'm going to be going over and sharing with you guys my top five most anticipated games that were shown off at this year's E3. However, these are only my top fives and I'm sure many of you might have a totally different list in mind. So after watching this video, please let me know down in the comment section below what games got you super hyped during this year's E3. First off, we are going to start off with Call of Duty Modern Warfare and before you guys click off the video, like me many gamers I have had my ups and downs with this franchise as well, but this year they're not only returning to my favorite setting, Modern Warfare, but they're also really expanding on the game, adding a rich, dark, well thought out story I personally can't wait to play. And there has been a bit of controversy about the game's story, about it being ultra violent, and I'm not going to get into this for this video because that would just be a complete other video on its own, and I might make that, but I will say that many of the themes in this new Call of Duty game have rarely been seen in the video game media before. Ultimately, I'm super excited to play this new Call of Duty, and to be honest, I don't think I've ever quite been as excited or hyped for a Call of Duty game in my entire life. Next up on the list, we have Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Star Wars has always had a very special place in my heart ever since I was a wee little lad. And ever since EA has had the exclusive license to publish Star Wars games, I've been super disappointed in what they have been dishing out. For me personally, the newest Battlefront games were both huge flops. But I would be lying if I said that I was not extremely pumped for the newest and first single player Star Wars game of this generation, Jedi Fallen Order. The gameplay and the combat looks fun, the characters and story looks interesting, and the game also seems to be mixing a bit of open world and linear gameplay together. So many of us Star Wars fans have been chewing at the bit for a narrative driven Star Wars game, and thanks to the developers at Respawn Entertainment, it would appear that we will finally get it. My big biggest hope is that EA will finally lay off the heavy microtransactions for this title. Next up is a smaller game, but a game I am seriously excited about. This game is called 12 Minutes, and it is a top-down murder mystery thriller, where presumably you have 12 minutes before everything resets in a Groundhog Day style. The game seems very deep in storytelling. The game would also appear to have multiple outcomes based on different choices you make throughout the game. Overall, this game looks fantastic, unique, and a testament to what a good indie game can be. Next up, we have Watch Dogs Legion. All of this generation, Ubisoft has been a company that I have somewhat tried to avoid. Not because I think that their games are necessarily bad, it just feels like to me that they have been playing it too safe and copying way too many features in their games. Ubisoft games just seem to mimic each other and it makes me feel like I'm playing the same game over and over, but Watch Dogs Legion definitely does not fall in this category. With all of its new features such as being able to play as anyone in the game by recruiting them to your cause, permadeath, and a really unique setting and interesting story based in London, this game will definitely be a day one purchase for me. And I really hope that Ubisoft continues this pattern with all future games, with adding interesting and unique features instead of what they have been doing. And finally on this list is a game I am probably the most excited for. That is Cyberpunk 2077. I mean, this game just looks absolutely fantastic. A unique first person role playing game set in the year 2077, where most of society have chosen to adopt body modifications and implants, a gritty story with many adult themes and dialogue choices, character creation and customization, and oh, don't forget Keanu Reeves. I mean, this game really is just hitting all the check marks for me in my book. And not to add that this game is also being developed by CD Projekt Red, the studio behind The Witcher 3. If you couldn't tell, I'm super excited, hyped, and thrilled about this game. I need it now. But anyway, guys, that's going to end this video. If there were any games that you guys thought should have been on this list, but were not, please make sure to put them down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, and if you never want to miss out on great content just like this, make Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace out, guys.